We just saw how to grow a regression tree. And now we'll talk about growing a classification tree. Growing a classification tree. So we'll see that we follow a very similar greedy procedure as for the regression case. So let's, so we've got some, you know, our abstract space RD here and all of our points in the classification case they have all got labels so maybe we've got some points some some red dots and maybe we've got some blue I don't know maybe make them X's we got some blue X's and a little bit of notation to make our lives easier Let's say if we got some arbitrary subset of RD, it's called called R. So we have some we have some subset R, and we'll define E sub R to be the fraction of. So we'll we're going to count the number of points of each class in R. And if we wanted to assign a label to this region R, we would take a majority vote. So in this case, we've got four blues and only two four blue X's and one and two red dots. So we would classify a new point in this region, say this one as a a blue X. So it's the fraction of points XI in our data set. Remember, we have some data set. As usual, x1 up to y1 up to xn, yn. So it's the fraction of points xi in our training data set that would be misclassified points xi in the region R that would be misclassified by a majority vote in the region R. So in this case, how many would we get wrong? We'll, we're classifying them as blue X's and there's two reds, so we would get two out of six wrong. So that would be one-third wrong for this R here. And we could make this a little more formal if we said this is the... so if and R is the number of points in R. This would be the, we would kind of to make this look similar to the regression case. So we would take the min over all the possible classes Y of the fraction of points, and that can be written as, I'll say what NR is in a second, the number of points, which we can write using this indicator function, that are not equal to y. So this tells us the number of points in R for which the label is not equal to y. And nr, we'll say, is the total number of points. So that's just, well, nr is just, well, I can just write it as the, the number of i's such that xi is in r. Total number of points in our training set that it's in r. So this is this is exactly what this is by taking a majority vote. And now we've got this nice little notation. We can very easily define our procedure for growing a tree, a classification tree. So I'm drawing in higher, give us one more dimension to visualize. This is our RD. It's got more than three dimensions in general, but we'll just think about, since we can only draw three. And what we will do is for the first split, so we're growing this binary tree, and for the first split in the tree, we will choose 
j, a dimension j, and a split s to minimize. So I need a little bit more rotation here, I guess. So I'm going to minimize e r j s plus e r prime j s, where so a little more notation here. So if j is 1 and s is this point, then we would we're going to make a then we might make a split here. And let me call r j s. So we'll call r j s the points. This is the set of all the points x i in our data set such that xij is greater than s and we'll call r prime js the other side so xij is less or equal to s so this would be our js and this would be our prime js if we took j equal to 1 and s equal to this point so we're going to choose the split that minimizes this this quantity using this definition here for the the error so this is like the error on the r prime region and this is the error on the r region and now for the general case we've got so we we have our first split in the tree and let me call this, let me call, let me associate a region, let's associate a region with each node in the tree. So the first region we'll call R1, and that'll just be the whole space. And then we'll, so we'll number these nodes, maybe this is node 1, node 2, node 3, every node in the tree will give a number, and we will associate a region associate with that node. So that would be R2, this would be R3, and so on. And R2, so let's call this R1, since this was our first split, this is R1, and this is R1 prime, JS. And so R2 will be, for the J and S that minimized this, it will be R1 JS and R3 is going to be R1 prime JS for the J and S that minimize this on the first split. So right, we're just you know we're just dividing this up and we're assigning one of these regions to this next node down and we're assigning the other region to, to this other node. And now for the in general, so we we need to define how we're going to split at a general node. So in general, we'll, we'll be at some RK. Maybe it's one of these, but in general, some RK. And so we, we need to split RK. So splitting RK. To do that, we choose, just like before, choose J and S to minimize E R K J S plus E R prime K J S. So so if K so if R K so if K was two, for example, then here we had this was R1, R1 prime. Then this would also be R2, this right hand side. And R2JS, if J was 2, say, and S was this was this quantity, we're going to split R2 at this S, and we get we're splitting along this plane and rk j 
js just like before here I'm going to define it well let me just let me just modify our previous definition we can just generalize this to rk and this time it's only going to be the points in rk so this does indeed generalize the previous definition because when it was r1 we were considering all the points xi in our data set so this is these are also points in the data set that also lie in rk and the first case we are our k was 1 so it was all of rd so this is this agrees with our earlier definition so that should make it maybe to be precise these are not all points in rk but these are points in rk that are in the data set so at the general step we need to split rk we were here and we look over all dimensions we look over, over all split points and we choose the plane that minimizes this quantity where rk would be like this region here and rk prime might be this other region and we're minimizing the sum of the classific of the the misclassification error that would uh, that would arise by classifying the points in each of those two regions according to a majority vote in that region this gives us a procedure for building this tree so we get this this infinite tree if we were to just con continue doing this forever and but we'll use a stopping criterion just like just like before in the, the regression case so uh, the well, our preferred or a better stopping criteria then we could stop if there's only one point but uh, another option would be stopping when uh, or only considering splits when the resulting regions would result in some minimum number of points say five or in the classification case another option option C would be to stop when so we would stop at RK when RK contains points only of one class So this would be another possible stopping criteria. So this defines a procedure for building a classification tree and it can be generalized so we use the misclassification error here but this can be generalized to use other types of quantities to minimize such as so one would be the entropy I have undefined entropy but one another possibility which people often use and some may give better performance is to use the entropy or another possibility is to use what's called the Gini index.